Hey everybody, welcome back to Country Inch Summer 4. My name is Pal. I'm out on another run, uh, this time kind of in the woods near our house. And I just wanted to show you it's December, but there's still food to be found outside. Take a look at this bush, I'm going to show it to you in a second. It's uh, rose hips, and you can make a delicious jam out of rose hips. I'm going to show you the finished product. Uh, I've never actually made it, but I did recently look up how to do it, and I'm just going to tell you about it briefly and I'll show you some store bought. Um, jam, but uh, next year I definitely hope to uh, make enough time to get it. Um, there's still definitely a lot of it out, so uh, yeah, I think now is actually still a perfectly good time to go pick it. I just don't have enough time, but uh, let me show it to you. Sorry, your dog's uh, kind of <laughs> urging me to get moving. Alright, so here's what one of them looks like. Um, usually what people do is when they collect these, hi Prissy, uh, is they um, chop off the end, this little bit here, and chop off this end. And then what you do is you uh, throw them in water and just boil them for a long time until this whole thing gets soft. And then um, you use a strainer, like a fine mesh or um, you know pillowcase or whatever to strain out the pulp. And what you want is this kind of gooey pulp stuff that's inside of it. I'm going to squeeze some out for you. It's basically almost like jam already. And um, the only thing is it's really sweet. Uh, it's very tart. And um, the only thing is that inside there are these little pesky seeds that are, almost look like they're like cloth covered little, you know, seeds. And um, you obviously want to get those out because they do not taste good. But uh, but basically this is like really good. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And um, hey, just pick these for free, you know, on your next hike and uh, make a jam out of them. You can also soak them in water. Uh, they make a delicious tea. Uh, you'll have to see, um, you know, uh, like um, other fruits mixed in with it for, for like a, a, you know, a fruit blend uh, tea and uh, really high vitamin C content, antioxidants galore in this. So um, yeah, uh, check it out. Those are the seeds just to show you kind of on the inside what it looks like. But um, yeah, delicious pulp and um, really nutritious. Time to refuel after the run. My wife made some delicious uh, yellow lentils here, so we're going to eat that. And then for dessert, um, I made another batch of pie. If you have missed that episode, check it out. I show you the recipe. It's really good, delicious. It's um, butternut squash and sweet potato. It's got a um, no flour uh, crust there at the bottom. It's delicious. And um, yeah, check that out. And then this is a little cookie that uh, my wife just made for Christmas. And um, uh, if anybody's interested in that recipe, let me know. Um, maybe do a separate video on that. And uh, what I took that out for is to show you guys the rose hip jam. Okay. So um, this is uh, just store bought. I did not make this, but uh, it's very delicious. And um, this is what you can make out of the uh, the rose hips that I showed you earlier. And this goes really well with just about anything. But uh, I'm going to put a little bit on this cookie, and then I am going to get to eating. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, remember to give it a big thumbs up and uh, hope to see you in the next one. And um, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.